Hello ladies and welcome to Gray Your Way. Today I want to talk about a subject that has been bothering me for a minute and that is gray wigs that make you look old. I do not understand why when these companies put out gray wigs they always look old and they're usually short. Some of them I have seen are long, but then they're really, really long because there are young people who want to wear gray hair, and so they're making those really, really long. But then when they're actually targeting older women who are gray, all of those wigs usually look really bad. They're short, they're ugly, they're curly, they're, they just look matronly. So I want to talk about that. Um, the first company that I want to call on the carpet is Outre. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures of some of their units that they put out recently. I don't understand why when Outre makes a gray wig, they have to make it look like that. Why can't they make um, any of their wigs gray? Why can't they include the color gray in any of their wigs? Because they have a lot of really beautiful units and they offer the 1, the 1B, the 2, the 4 sometimes and 613. Personally, I can do without 613 if they would just make a gray instead because I think that if they would just offer a gray in all of their units that that would give us a lot more choices in terms of gray hair. So, Outre, if you're listening, stop it. <laughs> we do not want these ugly short gray units. Um, the second company that I'm going to call on the carpet about gray hair is Bobby Boss. Now, Bobby Boss, I think, does a better job in terms of making gray units that don't look really bad. I have reviewed a couple of their units that were gray that I really liked. And um, they even had a Weaver wig <laughs> years ago that was a beautiful charcoal gray. And I have not seen them really do anything in charcoal gray since that Weaver wig. Honestly, I wish they would remake that wig in a regular wig as opposed to a Weaver wig. And I have a video on my old channel, Still Looking Good 58, that talks about that. So you might want to go over to that channel and check that out. So again, they have beautiful gray colors and I really want them to do more of that. Um, let me go back to Outre for just a minute. Now Outre did put out some niches and they put out, a, I think, three different gray colors for their niche units. I think it was like a midnight gray. They did a, a misty gray. They did a couple of grays. They even did like a silver brown gray. And I was really, really happy to see that. Um, but not everybody likes the niches because they're really thick. Now, I've got a Nisha unit that's coming to me um, probably in another week or so that I'm going to do a review on so that you can see how you can thin out a Nisha unit. So I'm going to thin out the gray one that's coming to me. Um, they also put out a couple of units, and you may see those on my channel as well. Uh, Outre Lenny was a gray unit or came in gray, and it was really, really a nice wig. It was a little too silky for me, but it was a nice gray. And even It's a Wig um, has put out a few really nice charcoal gray half wigs, if you're interested in half wigs. So I just kind of wanted to talk about that and ask you guys what you think. Um, I did find a company that actually is a sister company to Janet Collection. It's called Femi Collection. And Femi Collection, I'll show you a picture, has some gray units that I think look pretty good. So you might want to check them out and see if you can find Femi Collection at some of these retailers, either online or in the beauty supply store. What I have done is I found Femi Collection when I was looking for some gray bundles so that I could make my own headband wig. I made this headband wig from bundles that are human hair. So this is a human hair yakky um, half, I mean a headband wig that I made. I got this hair from Sleek Hair off of AliExpress and I'll leave that information down in the description section. I also did a video on this channel to show you how I sewed this unit. I just showed you a little bit of it, but I'm going to do a live video to show you how to do it from start to finish. But um, again, going back to Femi Collection, I got some human hair blend hair from them. And I hate the fact that they call it Granny. <laughs> they call it Miss Granny, but you know, I'm just going to leave that for now. But anyway, Femi Collection has a really nice human hair blend collection of bundles for you to make your own either headband wig or regular wig. They don't supply the frontal. So that's why it's better to just make a headband wig with their hair because they don't supply the frontal. They only supply the regular wefts, I mean the regular um, yeah, tracks so that you can make a headband wig. And so you can do that, but I really love their hair. I have purchased, um, I made a curly unit with their hair and I'm going to be making a straight unit with their hair as well. So stay tuned for that. So yeah, so um, I again just wanted to talk to you guys about my frustration with not being able to find gray units or not getting these companies to create gray hair or gray colors. 
Um, another company that does pretty good with gray is Vanessa Hair. Vanessa Hair, as you may be familiar with, they have all kinds of different colors of hair. They're probably the most versatile when it comes to hair color in their units than any other company that I know of. But they have beautiful grays too. So when you go onto Vanessa's site, you can actually check out the colors because they have a lot of different grays that they offer, which is nice. So I just want more companies to offer more synthetic wig companies to offer gray as a standard. I've asked for that before in my wig wish list on Still Looking Good 58 and I'm still asking for that. So I'm hoping that we can get more gray out of them in a regular unit, not just a matronly looking short curly unit that nobody wants to wear. So that's it for synthetic. For human hair, human hair companies, I have actually been working with a couple of human hair companies to get some gray units made. Um, I have a unit coming from my first wig that I actually had them um, send to me. They had this wig on their website, so I'll share that with you when I do that wig review for them. But there is a really nice um, gray bob that they're sending me that I'm going to do a review on. And I'm also working with RPG Show Outlet um, I've been working with them for a couple of weeks to get them to create a unit for me. So they created a curly gray unit for me, 13 by 4, I think it's 13 by 4, 13 by 6 unit for me that I'm going to review and show you guys too. And I'm hoping that they make that unit a standard on their website as well because they don't have a lot of gray either. And that's why when I contacted them, they said, we'll have to customize it. And so that's what they've been doing for me. So um, I'm going to be bringing that to you as well. So, and again, thank you for coming to this channel. Um, I'm not really concerned about this channel growing really hugely. I'm really just focused on the people who are wearing gray, embracing their gray, want help with gray hair and gray wigs. And so I'm not going to be focusing a lot about, you know, on, on um, subscribers or, or view counts or any of that kind of thing. I'm just going to be trying to give you guys the information that I find on gray since I am embracing mine. <clears throat> so you won't see any ads on my videos, which is good because you know I don't have 4,000 you know views or or a thousand subscribers or any of that kind of stuff. And I'm not I don't care about that stuff. So if it comes, it comes. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But right now you don't have to worry about ads because they won't be on this channel. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I just wanted to bring that to you guys to talk to you guys a little bit about how you're feeling about the grays that are out there. If you have a company that you get gray from, let me know. I know that Silver Fox is a company that does gray hair, but again, I don't really see them anywhere or too many places. You have to really look for them on some of the retail sites. Um, I don't know anything about Vivica Fox or whether she does gray units because I really haven't worn any of her units. So if you guys know of other companies that are making gray units that look nice, let me know because I'm more interested in the light yakky hair as opposed to silky. I know that some of the uh, Caucasian companies that make wigs make gray, um, but they're silky and I'm really not looking for silky. I'm looking for yakky or light yakky and you probably are too if you're an African American woman. So again, that's what I'm, I'm talking about today. Um, please sound off in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are about uh, the companies that offer these awful looking gray units. And uh, yeah, hopefully as a collective, we can get them to stop doing that and maybe make gray as a standard for us because we really do want that. So thank you again for watching and you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye.